Hi. Oh, hi. This morning I finished the last one of these for the, uh, these set of three legs. I don't know what you call those ones. Anyway, it was that piece right back there. But now I have to work on the, uh, the lower ones of these down here. Ah. So I cranked the motor up there to get the weight off of those legs over there and this one. So now all the weight is on the three legs that are already finished. Of course, the bolt that I have to take out to remove these things uh, is shared by part of this leg that the weight is on. So I'll have to make sure that I only remove one at a time and, and completely reassemble it between. Because if I take two out, the whole thing will probably tip over. Well, it wouldn't fall over over but it would tip sideways a, a little bit and all these parts would come out of place and it would be a real pain in the butt to get them back into place. So uh, I'm just going to remember to, to do it right. Actually, I think I can take this this bolt out just part way so it, it stays in this top part, which would be nice. So I'm going to try whacking it down here and see if I can just get it to come up here so I can get this bottom thingy out. Blah, 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 blah. Give me one of these, this one doesn't fit. Ha, sweet. Rara, Papa make robot? Yeah. Five. Give me a kiss. All right, robot time. Oh, now it's tomorrow. Yesterday, I almost finished this. I just had one piece of weld left when my thingy ran out of wire. And I said, I'll just do that last weld tomorrow. Since it was like dinner time and I was going to eat. Pretty nice day out today, though. Oh, good. Two rolls left. Excellent. Whoa, that's on there tight. I don't know why that was so tight. Maybe just because it's been there for so long without being changed. Hmm. Just gotta get that in there. Alright, ready to go. Alright, that guy's all done. But now I have a minor problem. I've been hoping 
I would uh, come up with a solution by this point. Yeah, but I haven't. I'll just have to think of something now. Anyway, at one point in the past, like a year and a half ago or something, I cut all these things out in order to make these things. Now the first three things of these I made were on one set of three legs that are the same. And those all went perfectly fine. But on the other three set of legs, these things are longer. And I, I guess I wasn't hip to that information when I was cutting these things. You can see if we line up this hole over here, this hole is actually off the end. <sighs> While my brains are stewing on that, I'm gonna make some comments about some stuff. Like, a few days ago, I lifted this uh, second floor area by hand up to where it should be because it was like way down here somewhere because, you know, there's a building problem. Anyway, it got crushed and the, the post that hold it up ended up way in the dirt. Anyway, I lifted it up with my bare hands and my mega muscles. And then lots of people told me I was doing it wrong and I needed to use all this machinery. All kinds of different ridiculous things. First of all, which would have been a pain in the butt to set up. You know, where I could just stand there and go, Argh! I mean, it's way easier to set myself up because I'm already, I, I, I'm already right here. Anyway, besides that, if there's ever any time that I can physically use my own strength for something, and particularly if I can just barely do it myself, I will choose to do it myself because then I get stronger. Because any machinery I use, the more, the more you use machinery, the faster it wears out. So why am I going to use a piece of machinery and put some wear on it when I could use my own body, which reacts the opposite way? The more I use my body, the stronger it gets. So yeah, of course I'll use my body anytime I can. And if it's something I can just barely lift, perfect! My muscles will be all like, whoa, we gotta get stronger, dude! Alright, back to this mess. The tricky part is this is so thick, it's very difficult to weld. If it was thinner, I would just weld a piece on the end, or just cut it here and weld a piece in the middle and make the whole thing longer. It really would have been easier if I'd cut it the right length. Uh, maybe, I, I don't know, I, I'm just gonna have to... I don't know! Uh, I don't really have a good, a good solution at the moment. Uh, maybe I'll just start looking around and see if any ideas pop up. Alright, on the shortest one of these, I'd have to move the hole up about a centimeter to be within acceptable range, acceptable material on the end. And that means I would change the height of three of the legs by three centimeters. Yeah, about that much. Which Actually, it's probably within acceptable error. And if I really need to, I can just cut three centimeters off the bottoms of the, the legs. And it won't really change the sideways movement enough to be noticeable. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. Because if I cut these things, it's going to be a real pain in the butt to weld them back together and then it's going to be weaker and I really need these things to not break. That's the most important thing. I mean the other option is to make whole new parts. But I don't think it's uh... Yeah, it's not going to change things enough to make it worth remaking those. Yeah, three centimeters. That's okay. Alright. Alright, if I make them one at a time uh, then I can install them and should be able to tell if there's any problem. Well, that fit surprisingly well. <sighs> Two more of those silly things left to go. This is slightly tedious. 
Not nearly enough slaves. Need more slaves. Yeah, I need henchmen. Henchmen would be great. But only if they were really competent henchmen. Not bumbling henchmen. Hey, you want to drive around on a robot? What do you think, Rara? You want to drive a robot? <laughs>